Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your morning coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. And for those of you who are tuning in, say, like in Paris, um, in France and all that, where it's around, or it's you, around, it's like in the afternoon, maybe around 2 p.m. Good afternoon to you. I hope you're having a great day. So this is a general energy reading for today, Thursday, December 17th, 2019. Please keep in mind that the energies are fluid, so this doesn't necessarily have to be something that's going to happen today. It very well could be. It seems that with the, um, the messages I've been putting out on this daily cycle, they tend to be what thing, you know, things that people are going through at the time, but it doesn't have to be, okay? Energies are fluid, and just because it says it's for the 17th of January, it doesn't mean it has to be strictly that. It can be before, after, somewhere in between, whatever, all right? So just take, this is a general reading also, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay, guys? So let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Thursday, December 17th. Oh, December? Good Lord, no. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. Oh, January. January 17th, 2019. Okay, well, it seems that some of us may be still dealing with some cycles from December or maybe um, dealing with some energies, old energies, feelings, emotions, circumstances that happened in December. I mean, that makes perfect sense. I already feel people cringing a little bit, being like, no, I didn't want to bring that with me into, into the new year. But energies are fluid, guys. Okay, so it makes perfect sense, as especially as we are in this period of really closing out old cycles, you know, especially for those of us that are seeing 1010 a lot. Um, I mean, it makes sense. Okay. It just, it just makes sense. So let's what we have, see what we have for today, Thursday. J I wanted to say December again, you guys, January 17th. So, okay. Yeah. Closing out of old cycles is really happening right now. Um, and that could be why, I mean, the, I, it came out two days ago with the hanged man. Um, there's some, there's a little bit of stagnancy happening here. It's like, it's like there's a stall or a pause in the movement, in the momentum. Um, you know, someone posted, someone posted a comment yesterday about how, you know, she was in alignment and everything was synchronistic and now everything has slowed down. And I get that. I mean, I would personally went through a very, very similar situation. Now, we have to keep in mind that this is the holiday. We just came out of the holiday season. People are kind of broke uh, or at least not willing to really spend too much money right now just because they may have really spent a lot during the holiday season. Um, and that's a two-month two span, you know, between, well, actually, now, we'll, we'll say it's two months because it can start with Halloween now. Nah. We'll go ahead and say it's about three months because you have to buy your costume for Halloween, right? You have to prepare for all of that if you're having a party, even though Halloween's at the end of the month. And then you have, and then you have Thanksgiving, and then you have Hanukkah, and then you have Christmas, and then you have Kwanzaa. And it's, I mean, it's like, and then you have New Year's. So people need some time to recuperate, okay? There is a little bit of a lag because of the fact that we just came out of the holiday season. But other than that, we're closing out cycles and we're very much in between worlds and I've been channeling that for a bunch of different people, you know, in personal readings and then in the, um, in the general readings, okay? So, just give yourself some space and some time. I did have a moment where I woke up um, and, you know, I couldn't get back to sleep last night and, um, you know, my mind started racing about, eventually it just started racing about, you know, what's going to happen? Are things going to move forward? Blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. And oh, and also the, the government's shut down. So, you know, that's a thing. <laughs> but, um, but then I went, I fell back asleep and I had a dream that I found a cicada, you know, and cicadas, I'm going to look into that um, later. I'm going to read into it more. I haven't really read into it too much, but already what I've seen or what I've what I've come to understand is that cicadas are 
uh, a message of patience and resurrection. You know, cicadas, they, they burrow into the ground and they hibernate for years. I'm not trying to say that, you know, you're going into yearly hibernation, but for a lot of us, we just came out of a hermit mode, right? Okay, so patience, understanding, and just divine timing and resurrection. Things are, things are going to work out. But this, and Betsy last night was explaining to me, she was saying that this is a perfect time to keep with your convictions, okay? Just because it may look one way in the external doesn't mean that's going to, the way it is absolutely going to stay or doesn't even mean that's the way it is energetically. You have to give the physical realm some time to catch up, okay? Rant over. <laughs> one last shuffle. Alrighty, guys. So let's see what Message of Spirit has for us today. Thursday, January 19th, 17th. Good Lord. I don't know. First I was saying December. Now I'm saying the 19th. What is happening, guys? Thursday, January 17th, 2019. What messages do you have for a spirit? Six of Cups in reverse, it looks like. Woo. Okay. Cool. Underneath the deck, we have the devil again. Look at that, guys. The devil has been, y'all, check it out. The devil has been making appearance after appearance. Um, it came out three times, okay? It came out three times yesterday between YouTube and um, um, Instagram. If you have not followed me on Instagram yet, go right ahead at divine underscore conversations. I am running an Instagram sale for all of my subscribers. You get 20% off a general freestyle reading. Just go ahead, hit, go to head, head to Instagram, follow me and shoot me a DM saying you want to take advantage of that special. But the devil came out twice yesterday in morning coffee and then it came out again in the Insta, Insta daily reading and now it's coming out here. Okay, so look, the devil is really trying Hard, okay, this is fear. This is ego. This is the energy of um, th uh, of staying rooted in old three-dimensional paradigms that no longer serve us. We have the Six of Cups here. The Six of Cups is in reverse. Now, um, this can mean a few things. The first thing that I'm getting with this card is for some of us, we're leaving a soul, uh, uh, a soulmate. Um, bond behind okay now this soulmate bond can be extremely toxic and codependent all right with the devil here okay so again this is a situation where if you are feeling guided to leave this situation behind move on okay this is situations from the past now it's it, it could be a soulmate situation because it is the six of cups but it also in general it's just past situation leaving them behind just letting them go with the six of cups in reverse now there could be some there could have been some nostalgia it could have been difficult to leave this behind because of history um for some of you i'm picking up that this is like a childhood dream that you're kind of leaving behind now um, there could be some fear involved with that, um, but I do feel like it's ego at play that was kind of trying to keep you in there because you were, maybe you identified with it for a long time um, and now you're just seeing that it doesn't fit. It's just I'm seeing codependency and toxicity just all wrapped up in that, okay? So if you're leaving it behind, that's a good thing um, because ultimately it probably just does not resonate with you anymore, okay? You have the Two of Wands justice the two of pentacles the nine of pentacles and strength these are good energies here for some of you um you've already made a decision but for others of you you are in the process of making this decision right now you're trying to figure out which way to go um, and you're trying to do the most just thing possible okay um you're trying to bring balance justice into your life While still keeping things, there's a, in, in balance, there is a lot of balance here. And the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles has been coming out a lot. Well, okay. I remember it came out once. I can't remember if it was a personal reading or if it was morning coffee. But um, the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles is about making decisions and then, tr and then maintaining the balance. 
maybe juggling, okay? This is also a depiction of being in between worlds, okay? Two of wands, two of pentacles. But ultimately, justice is in between this. So justice is being served, guys, and for a lot of us, for, uh, this justice is being served in the background, on the in the background, and also um, m my attention is being drawn to the moon on this card. We do have that full moon and the eclipse coming up this weekend. Okay, it's Sunday night into Monday, and um, that's going to bring a lot of change. It's already bringing a lot of change. Many of us are kind of feeling it already. Um, but this is a big one. This really is a big one. And I feel like a lot of the energy is going to be cleared out by way of this moon cycle, okay? So if you're really dealing with, if right now, if you're really working on purging the past, this moon cycle is really going to help you clear out a lot of that energy for some of you, okay? You have the Nine of Pentacles and you have Strength. So, and what I'm getting with the Nine of Pentacles is, and Strength is that you've made a move through strength. You have the independence. You have the, um, the autonomy. The, the, you know, your, 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 the freedom. And what you're needing to do is just stay strong in your convictions at this time with strength, okay? We have two more cards here. Yeah, wow. We have the Six of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. All right, so you're moving forward, but there's still some sort of like fear, anxiety surrounding this. Um, might be feeling left out in the cold, a little destitute, lacking, okay? But we have to, and this has been a central theme of, I'm gonna put these up here actually. These have been, this has been a central theme of the whole situation for, for like the last week or two. Mm -hmm about the last week and a half, I guess you could say. And it's about leaving behind mac lack of mentality. And that's what I channeled on Monday for morning coffee. So you're in the process of leaving this lack mentality behind. What Now, what are you going to do? Are you going to sit there and say, woe is me? Or are you going to say, no, I know I'm abundant. I know I'm doing the right thing. I know I followed my intuition and the guidance from the universe. I just have to let the situation catch up. You just have to let the manifestation, the physical manifestation, catch up to you energetically. And that's a perfect, that's a perfect time for the devil to come in and try and throw you off course because, oh, well, nothing's happening. So what, did you really do the right thing? Like, are you stupid? Like, what are you doing? Like, you should go back. You should do this. You should do that. You shouldn't do what you were trying to do because it's not going to work. Obviously, it's not going to work. I mean, look, it's not showing up, is it? Mm-hmm. Don't listen. Don't listen to that. That's your ego. That's um, negative entities trying to tear you down. If you have been, if you've really been working on your alignment, your uh, uh, assignment, yeah, I want to say that too, your assignment, your um, ascension, if you've been working on expanding your consciousness, being more authentic, connecting more with yourself in a truer way, then if you followed the guidance that you received, continue. Don't let the circumstances as they stand or as they seem so far drag you down, okay? Alrighty. So with all that said, let's get some clarification. And I'm going to start with the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Six of Swords. shuffle so let's see what we have here five of pentacles six of cups six of swords please spirit please clarify five of pentacles six of cups is in reverse and the six of swords okay this is exactly what i thought okay underneath yeah underneath the deck you have the world so again, you have a major, major, some major cycles completing here. You have the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Hermit. 
Three of Pentacles. Um, for some of you, you have started to, uh, you're on an entrepreneurial ship situate in an entrepreneurial ship situation. You started your own business. You're going to work for yourself. But this is also a, a number of mastery, okay? And this is a very much a card of self-mastery to me, right? And what it is that you've been doing has been in service of self-mastery. You have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. You're wanting to move quickly. Um, you're wanting to move passionately. These are both really fast moving cards. So even though it may look like on the surface, things are not moving too quickly, energetically, they are moving quickly, but they will move quicker it, well, when you really take the time to understand, go within, use this time, use this downtime to really go within and see if there are any, if there are any last bits and pieces that need to be polished that need to be brought forward that need to be cleared away okay for many of you you have set off on this path you set off on this path through self-discovery so to me that this this combination right here with the three of pentacles and the hermit with the world well actually all of this really because to me the knight of swords is spe speaking of um, communication, truth, honesty, authenticity, integrity. The Knight of Wands is talking about the spiritual warrior, light worker, your inner light um, shining through. And these are two energies of movement, going where you need to be in order to be of service, right? So all of that, the world, Three of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, and the Hermit is all confirmation that you are on the right path, that you are following your intuition, you're following your guidance, you're going with the flow, you're doing the things that are bringing greater authenticity to you, you're going in the direction that allows you to be more authentic, all right? Closing out cycles. Now, for some of you, I'm picking up that you might want to go within and figure out what about the old cycle was really needing to be closed out. For some of you, there really is some more inner understanding that you're needing to bring to the situation for yourself, okay? But for others of you, you've already done a lot of that work, okay? This is a general reading, so take what resonates. If that resonates with you, go ahead and just do a little more soul searching. But I mean, that was originally what I was getting anyway. You, there might be some last little pieces that need to be re, need to be let go of at this moment, okay? In order for the situation to keep moving. But already I can tell you one of those. Five of Pentacles. Lack mentality. Right there. Easy peasy. And that's a hard one to break. It's a very hard one to break. Because that's something that's been plaguing... Um, humanity for centuries right all right so in between worlds here two of wands justice two of pentacles let's get a little bit more clarification on that please spirit yeah Ooh. okay underneath the deck is the queen of cups I mean, I really feel like the messages are repeating at this point. Um, you know, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups has been coming out a lot between personal readings and, um, and you know, the readings here on YouTube and all that and these general readings. But the Queen of Cups is talking about compassion, empathy, understanding. It also talks about keeping your emotions close, not really sharing them too much um, unless you're really close with somebody. But this is intuition. This is empathy, uh, empathic nature, which is really starting to open up for a lot of people. This is compassion for yourself. This is unconditionally loving energy. So, and this is where you've been acting from when you made the decision to move into this new paradigm. You did it more, more, most likely you did it because, well, for most of you, you did it because you had a new understanding of unconditional love and you have a different appreciation for yourself greater appreciation for yourself, greater understanding of where you are, where you want to be, and where you're going. And so you chose you over you. No, you chose you over them. Excuse me. So now you have, wow, that's excellent. So you have the Seven of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Eight of Cups, okay? For some of you, there was a lot of illusion, 
around you, a lot of confusion, not being able to see things as clearly as possible. That could be what's happening right now, okay? It could either be right now, not really being able to see things clearly, not being able to see the path ahead of you clearly, not knowing what's going to happen, the confusion, the chaos even, because you've walked away from something. Now, for the most part, you're having to go through a grieving process, and that could have everything to do with the Six of Cups that's in reverse here, which is letting go of something from the past. Now, keep in mind, though, that also what came out here is the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. And you have the Nine of Pentacles here, so this is the second time the Nine of Pentacles has come out. All right. And so what the Ace of Pentacles, what they really want me to say with the Ace of Pentacles is that the Ace of Pentacles does not move quickly. OK, it is a Pentacles um, card. It is part of the Pentacles suit. Pentacles are not are earthly. Right. They're physical. They're solid. They don't move that quickly. But you still have it here and you still have that abundance, that sense of independence, that sense of abundance. Do not let the three dimensional reality get you down. You have a new beginning. You have a new start. It's manifesting. It's here, even. You just have to go with the flow and allow it to grow and blossom in its own time. Okay? This is a great time to work on uh, trusting the universe and having faith. Okay. I mean, I would, I, there's no need to clarify the last two because it's the nine of pentacles and strength. Needing to just maintain, stay firm in your conviction of where you're going. I'm going to get some unicorn oracle guidance here. And then we're going to close the reading with the crystal mandala deck, okay? One more shuffle. Alrighty. Best message, please, Spirit, for today, January 17th, 2019. Best message, please, Spirit. There it is, past lives. Oh yes. Underneath the deck is intention. Be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want. Be bold with your requests with the universe. And this is something, I think Missy has been saying this too. Um, if you aren't aware of her, many of you that follow me, follow her also. She is Saltwater Heels Tarot on, on uh, YouTube. And then she's also on Instagram. XI underscore Missy underscore XI. She does um, daily soul flame, uh, soulmate twin flame readings and all that. But um, she, I really feel like I remember her saying that specifically a few times. Be bold. Stop dreaming small. Start dreaming big. Like this is the time to do it, especially if you're allowing yourself to be, to release from all the past. Maybe, and, and the Six of Cups could be childhood. Um, uh, imprinting, like what you learn from your family, from your, from your, you know, your parents, your siblings, your grandparents, your aunts and your uncles, the surrounding community, all of that stuff that's been drilled into your head, it's being released right now. And you just have to give yourself time to do so. Okay. But looky here, your card is past lives. Release your past life karma. You are an old soul with deep wisdom. Healing your past lives will raise your vibration. And when I started reading that, the first thing I thought of was this lack mentality. And that's something that I picked up on a few days. I, may, I think it was on Monday's reading. Um, yeah, purging lack mentality. And I said, for some of us, this is very much a past life situation, you know, um, past life karma and all that. And so, you know, you have to get the momentum going is what spirit wants me to say. You really, you just have to get the momentum going and all will be well. Don't worry, your t intentions are set for the most part, and now you just have to continue to uh, uh, align with what it is you truly desire, okay? Closing out the reading with the Crystal Mandala deck here. I mean, 
to be honest, guys, I'm still energetically purging some situations from my previous marriage. Like, I'm still having dreams about it. Not about, like, situations that happened in the past, but he still shows up in my dreams. He showed up in my dream last night, you know? And I was still having trouble energetically separating from him. And it's something that I never, I didn't really think was a thing because, you know, I, I, it's not like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So there's a lot, there's a lot. And we, and he and I had some serious past life karma together as well, too. So there you go. Okay. But like I said, this is an, these are old cycles. Karma is really being released right now. And if you're familiar with her, um, uh, the Happiness Coach, I believe is what her, how she, what she goes by on YouTube and then on Instagram, she's Be A Good Soul. Um, on YouTube, she her name is Laura. She put up a, uh, a message about past life, uh, about karma ending, like major, major karmic cycles are ending here, you guys, okay? Spirit is saying you just have to give it a chance to really end and take hold, okay? Closing message, please, Spirit. For today, Thursday, January 17th, 2019, there it is, Spear of the Guru Mother. Yes. Okay. Underneath the deck is card number two, Archangel Remiel and Argonite. Rest. Rest. I know a lot of us are feeling tired right now um, or feeling restless, but this is because of the purge that's happening, the clearing that's happening. So you, And especially if... You know, if business is slow right now, if things are just dragging along a little bit, you have to just give yourself time to rest, okay? Rest and recuperate because like I said, me and some others have been channeling that things are going to pick up all of a sudden just like that. And for me personally, I feel like it's going to happen not too long after this full moon because it's such an intense energy, okay? Also, Spirit is wanting to remind me, to remind you guys that um, synchronicities are heightened right now. I mean, I've been seeing them like crazy over the past few days. I've been posting them on my, my Instagram page. I have some pictures of, of synchronicities that I haven't even shared yet, okay? So, <laughs> you know, like, and that's really just confirmation that you are, in fact, in alignment, okay? So pay attention to those. Um, acknowledge those consciously and continue to stay in the vibration. You have, for your official message, you have card, card number 52, goddess, goddess Durga and Hematite, Spear of the Guru Mother. Please excuse the manicure. I've been lazy and haven't wanted to redo my nails. <laughs> we bring you the empowerment of Spear of the Guru Mother. Sometimes there is so much choice that we struggle to commit. It is often not an issue of unwillingness to make an effort, but concern that the choice might not be the, quote, right choice. We might pray to the universe to be shown what to do according to a wisdom greater than our own. Although our free will is always in place, we are able to accept a task divinely given or reject it. The universe answers every prayer. In your heart, you have been asking for guidance to be shown what you need to do in a particular situation or perhaps more generally in your life at this time. You want to know the best way forward so your actions are in alignment with heaven. In response, you have now become the spear of the guru mother. To me, this is another piece of confirmation that you are on the right path, okay? I just want to see if there's anything else. Okay. When the, oracle, when the oracle of spirit of the guru mother comes to you, you are being told your efforts have divine power behind them. The situations in your life you are willing to grapple with are going to resolve for, far more quickly and potently than you might have believed possible. The power of your own efforts, amplified with divine will, creates extraordinary movement. Distraction procrastination and hesitation shall not touch you. Your focus will be complete and your task shall be attained. The trust you feel in yourself and the divine will increase because of this. You will gain more confidence in yourself. You'll become game for bigger and bolder challenges. The universe will be able to ask more of you and give you more because you shall be increasingly open to it. 
the risk that you take at this time with absolute intention will bring you so much more than resolution of the task at hand. And underneath the unicorn deck, we have nothing, none other than intention. Okay, ooh, I gotta take a picture of that sunrise. All right, so actually, I'm just gonna leave it there, guys, because that really is the message for the day. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I may be doing happy hour tonight. You know, if that's cool, go ahead and like leave a com leave a comment. Let me know if you guys want some happy hour. I may do a poll. I'll post a poll about it and see what the see what the masses think. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys have a really fantastic day, and much love to you. And I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yeah. Take care. Mwah! Bye.